Show the wall, I'm back with part two, all right? Uh, in the news, the accuser and the city built by blood, all right? We're dealing first still with the accuser. We're about to finish this off, and then we're going to get into the other lesson, a city built by blood, all right? Uh, this is Psalms 10. We'll start at verse 2. The wicked in his pride, that's talking about Esau, all right? Was not the earth given into the hands of the wicked, Job 9, 24? Right? He covereth the faces of the judges. All right? Where and who is he? All right? And by the way, the judges are who? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, his son, Yahweh Shai. Right? The patriarchs, the Israelites. And what did he do that? During the Renaissance. It's called iconoclasm. Destroying the religious artifact and replacing our images with his own. Right? Which goes back to Maccabees 3.48. All right? Where they were putting up their own images. All right? Look that up, people. All right? So the wicked in his pride, talking about Esau, the white man, does persecute the poor. All right? Again, you're the poor, you're the just, you're the meek. All right? You're the saints, you're the righteous. You understand that, people? Go to Psalms 148 and 14. All right? Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined, right? And that's the way the Lord is going to do them. The Lord's got them in the old okie doke. For the wicked boasted of his heart's desire and blessed the covetedness of whom the Lord abhorreth, which means hate. And the Lord does hate them. And the Lord does hate. Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Okay? So get used to it, people. All right? That's reality. That's scriptural. And the wicked, though, through his pride of his continent, will not seek after the most high. You see that? The most high is not at all in his thoughts. His ways are always grievous. All right? What, what, what brings that to mind? Brings many things to mind. All right? One of them is what? Uh, what is that? Um, Isaiah, the 10th chapter, 10 and 1, all right? Who maketh uh, unrighteous decrees, right? Give me a minute. Let's go over there. Isaiah 10 and 1, woe unto them, right? Destruction unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. And the right grievances which they have prescribed, right? They do this, right? Putting it into law, right? To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. You see that? Of you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans of the nation of Israel. That the widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. Okay? See that? Let's get back. All right. All right. All right. Uh, so his ways are always grievous. Thy judgments are far above out of his sight. As for all his enemies, he puffeth at them. That's talking again about his pride. All right. He has said in his heart, uh, I shall not be moved, for I shall never be in adversity. See? His mouth is full of cursing and deceit and fraud. Under his tongue is mischief and vanity. Okay? If you go to Psalms 55, I think around verse 20, 21 there, it tells you how his lips are smoother than butter. <laughs> All right? All right. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages, right, of your hoods. All right? In the secret places, does he murder the innocent? Okay. Does he murder the innocent? All right. His eyes are privately set against the poor. Verse 9, he lieth in wait secretly as a lion in his den. He lieth in wait to catch the poor. He does catch the poor, you Israelites. When he draws him into his net. And what is that net? Well, that net 
is the snares that this man has set up, you know, all throughout, you know, his media, you know, newspapers, magazines, okay, the news, you know, all this stuff is, you know, you have to understand the word media goes back to the word medium, which goes back to witchcraft. You understand that, people? All right? We told you this many, many times. All right? He controls the narrative. All right? Give me a minute. Let me show you something. All right? How does he draw you into his net? All right? Which is what? Built on what? Falsehood. Give me a minute. All right. This is Second Thessalonians 2 and 9. Even him whose coming is after the workings of Satan. I repeat, even him, so he's talking about man, whose coming is after the working of the spiritual entity Satan. All right, so who's that talking about? Esau, Edom, the human counterpart here on earth. All right, with all power and signs and lying wonders. So we're going to click and show you lying wonders. All right. Lying wonders, you see what it says there, where it says lying? Pseudos. You see? And what do pseudos mean? Strong G, 5579. Pseudos. Pseudos. Right? A lie. A conscious and intentional falsehood. Okay? And you, what are you trying to tell me? You're trying to tell me that Everything you see is real. Okay? Esau has been running psychots before many of y'all were born. All right? Okay? In a broad sense, whatever is not what it seems to be. A perverse impetus and deceitful precepts. See that, people? This is your anti-Messiah system. Okay? under the rulership of Esau, okay? It's an anti-Messiah vibration. You understand that, people? All right? Uh, let's jump to uh, Isaiah. Give me a minute. All right. This is Google. This is the definition of enchantment. All right? What does it mean here? A feeling of great pleasure, delight, enchantment of the mountains. See, magic, witchcraft, sorcery, wizardry. All right. I believe you people get the point. Fascination, attraction, temptation, seduction, allure, enticement, delight, charm. Okay. This is what he uses. All right. To get you to rebel against the most high. All right. Enchantments. All right, and there's a lot of enchantments going on, and it's going to continue, and it's going to get hot and heavy. All right? All right. Give me a minute. All right, this is Isaiah 47. All right? We'll start at verse 12. Stand now with thy enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries. This is talking about Esau, Edom, the white man, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. All right? I remember, you know, uh, the wicked, they go astray as soon as they be uh, born. Doing what? Speaking lies. Okay? Wherein thou hast labored from thy youth, if so be thou shalt be able to profit. If so be thou mayest prevail. Verse 13. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers Right? Stargazers, monthly procrastinators, stand up and save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. And they can't be saved because we just finished reading about their lying wonders. All right? It's all pseudo. It's all falsehood. You understand that, people? All right? It's all falsehood. All right? Uh... Let's uh, let's see here. Let's go to Psalms. Give me a minute. All right, this is Psalms 50. I'll start here at 19. 
All right? Thou givest thy mouth to evil, and thy tongue frameth deceit. Talking about Esau, Edom, the Edomites, the white man, all right? The wicked, all right? They're nothing but devils, people, as it says in uh, Revelation, the 16th chapter, right around the 13, 14 verses there. They're the spirit of devils, all right? Verse 20, thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, who is uh, Esau's brother? Jacob, right? The 12 tribes of Israel. Thou slanderest thy own mother's son. See that? All right, we're going to end this part here of the accuser. We're going to get into a city built by blood. So let's jump to uh, Habakkuk 2 and 12. All right? Give me a minute. All right, what does it say here? Habakkuk 2 and 12. Whoa, destruction to him that buildeth the town, right, or city, with blood, and establish the city by iniquity, by sin. Is that not what these people did? Coming here, calling themselves Christians, right, removing the landmarks. Thou shalt not remove thy landmarks, all right? And they're not Christian. In order to be Christian, you'd have to be an Israelite, okay? Give me a minute. All right. This is uh, in the blue letter. All right. Talking about the elect. Strong's G, 1589. Eclagé. Eclagé. All right. The act of picking out, choosing. The act of God's free will by which before the foundation of the world, before the world began, he decreed, he ordained his blessings onto certain persons. Those persons will be Israelites. You'll see that in a moment. The decree made from choice by which he determined to bless certain persons through Yahweh Shai, the Machiach, by grace alone. A thing or a person chosen, right? Persons of God's elect, right? We scroll up, hit root etymology. And what do we see here? All right? Choosing one out of many, right? Yahweh Shai choosing his disciples. Many are called, few are chosen. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, right? St. John 15, 16, all right? God choosing whom he judged fit to receive favors, separated from the rest of mankind. You see that? Okay? To be particularly of his own, attended to continually, you see this? I.E. Israelites, all right? You'd have to be an Israelite to be a Christian. Okay, the seed of Israel. All right, we'll end this here. We'll be right back with uh, part three, I believe. Shalom.